in Overwatch, each hero comes with loads of unlockable skins. We thought we'd take a look at them and choose what we think are the best skins for each character. Let's have a gander! So D.Va is very much an adorable kawaii character, but delve into her list of skins and you'll find Scavenger. I love her pixie cut and how her mech looks like it's been built from junk. In fact, it reminds me a little of the power loaders in Alien. For a robot, Bastion actually comes across quite cute thanks to his bird friend who just chills out on his shoulder all day long, though I had a tough time deciding between two of his character skins, Overgrown as it just looks pretty cool, but decided on Gearbot because it gives you the chance to become the pigeon lady from Home Alone. Also, I'm a Londoner, we love our pigeons. Nothing says don't mess with this guy like a great big wolf on someone's head. Hanzo's lone wolf and Akami outfits are hard to choose between, but I particularly love Akami due to the white wolf. It's a bit Princess Mononoke. I also love the bright body paint on his arm and face that makes him stand out even more. Really brings out his eyes. Now, I settled on Nomad being Genji's best skin, partly because it kind of looks like Rey's outfit at the start of the new Star Wars film, but has a sword rather than a staff. Like, come on, I know it's a long shot, but it kind of does. By far the coolest skin for Farrah is not one of the rarer ones, but actually the Egyptian god-themed Anubis. Being dressed as the dog-headed god of funerals, death and the afterlife means that not only do you get the coolest helmet in the game, but you also go around killing people in the most appropriate attire ever. Now, Junkrat is one of my favourite heroes in Overwatch and also has some immense skins. Junkrat comes across being slightly psychotic in a Batman Joker-esque way, so the Fool and Jester skins really work and look pretty cool, but I think the best skin just has to be Scarecrow. Now, it's not just ancient Egyptian gods that have inspired some of the skins in this game. Symmetra has the Devi and Goddess outfits, with headdresses and skin tones very much inspired by Hindu goddesses. They'll leave other players green with envy, unlike just being green like the goddess one. McCree is my favourite offensive character and also quite possibly the best offensive hero in the game in my opinion. His skins aren't really out there as much as the others, though I think his gambler skin is pretty slick. It'll be cool to see what they bring out in the future. Headless cowboy anyone? Love dwarves, love pirates, well Torbjorn has a couple of fab skins for you to choose from. Benny likes Blackbeard best, but for me, the big bushy ginger beard of Barbarossa wins it. I mean, a dwarf's gotta have a ginger beard, am I right? Complete with cannons and ship's wheel, you'll say yar to this one. I'm sorry, I had to. You're probably thinking, wait, we're just choosing skins from the top tier. No, no, no. Because I think Reaper's best skin is his white skin, as he just looks pretty awesome in just all white. Who thought death just had to be darkness? Though his El Blanco skin with the guitar also looks pretty damn cool. So Tracer is my favourite character by far. I wonder why that is! <sighs> Looking through her outfits, I found one that looks like it's come straight from one of my favourite places in London, Camden Market. Yes, Punk sees Tracer with a studded leather jacket, bright pink hair and tights, with splashes of blue gear to make this an outfit I totally steal off her. Now, my favourite colour is red, so for Ryan Hart, I believe his best character skin is Bloodheart. He's got fire coming out of his chest, he looks pretty damn awesome, even without his hammer in his hand. If you're going to kill lots of people, why not do it looking like a dandy vampire? Widowmaker's Huntress skin has her with a pale white complexion and fancy black and red tailcoat outfit and boots. Even her gear has a gothic vampiric look to it and I want to steal all of it. Yeah, I'm seeing a trend in my choices here. Perhaps the character skin with the biggest difference. Futuristic soldier to evil Knievel, aka Daredevil76, pretty boy risk taker and hands down one of my favourite character skins in the game. Ever seen a gorilla on safari? No, I don't mean as part of the wildlife, I mean on safari with, with you. Well, now you can with Winston's humorously themed safari outfit. Complete with explorer hat, binoculars and all important moustache, he really looks the part. Just like a big hairy Nigel Thornberry. Smashing! Can anyone remember Crazy Frog? Bam, bam. Well I think one of Lucio's skins hippity hop. My personal favourite of his reminds me of him just a little bit. Wall running, music blasting, frog. 
Now, Zaria already looks pretty punk with her bright pink hair, but if you want to push her style that bit further, you can give her the cyber goth outfit. It colours her hair purple with green tints to match her armour, as well as adding studs and straps to everything, because that automatically makes it cooler. One of the coolest skins in the game, I decided on Roadhog's Mako skin as well as being one of the most outrageous heroes to play, also has one of the most outrageous skins. Just look at it! He's got a shark on his head! It seems the Overwatch team are very much fans of the gods of ancient Egypt as Zenyatta also has an Egyptian themed skin. The Ra outfit sees him in the likeness of sun god Ra with his falcon slash hawk head, ornate cuffs and long draping skirt. Also, for those of you with a dark side, the Sunyata skin offers the same look, but in black. So cool. Or should I say hot, because he's a sun god. Uh. My favourite skin for Mei has got to be the firefighter skin, as it works perfectly for her character, as she would make a pretty badass firefighter with all her freezing abilities. Now for me, Mercy's best skin has to be Valkyrie. Not only does she look amazing with her winged headpiece and Nordic themed outfit and weapons, but in Nordic mythology, Valkyries traditionally choose who lives and dies in battle. I mean, come on, Blizzard putting that on a healing character? That's no, just no, so no, smart. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Devil skin is clearly the best. Why do you need to choose who lives and dies and you can just kill everyone in the devil skin? It's clearly better. Definitely back me up in the comments below and drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Because, you know, devil. Yeah, whatever. Let us know your favourite skins and characters. Mine is definitely Tracer. And make sure you subscribe for way more cool videos from us in future. Bye!